Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Flutech. Today the topic is going to be very... Oh, wait. Hey bro, what's up? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you so much. Tell me, how can I help you? I just wanted to ask for a small favor from you. What is it? Yeah, sure. From the past couple of days, my computer is very slow. It's dead actually. Uh, it's very frustrating on a busy working days. It does not even process single clicks. So I was hoping if you could help me out with this, it will be a huge favor. Sure man, no problem. I'll be there. Thank you. Alright. I know what you guys are thinking. Yeah, this is everyone's problem. The reason I'm smiling on him because, uh, you know, it's not been even 20 days that I've installed a fresh copy of Windows on his laptop and again he's complaining about slow computer. So this is the problem in Windows if you guys are using Windows 10 uh, in the office or, you know, personally, uh, Windows, Windows 7, even Windows 7, it's not only Windows 10, Windows 7 also, you know, it gets slow with the passage of time. So uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to help all the IT professionals as well as end users also. And this video is going to be helpful for those people who doesn't have IT uh, geeks or IT experts or IT professionals or technical support, uh, you know, in their circle, in their friend circle, and they have to take care of their computers by themselves. So I'm going to show you 10 tips which will enhance your computer performance and it will become much faster than what you guys have right now. So whenever you think that the computer is becoming sluggish again and being lazy, you guys can repeat the same stuff again and you guys will be good to go. So guys, without any further ado, let's start the video. So I am on my Windows PC. So first of all, we have to go to System Startup and um, you guys can go ahead by clicking the Start menu and type TASK or you guys can just uh, press Windows plus R key and type TASKMGR. Okay, click on that and uh, there is a tab called Startup. Just click on Startup, maximize the window. So guys, I want you to take a look on all these applications and you guys are the best judge which applications um, deserves to be running as soon as the windows start. So in my case, I don't really need you to run in the startup. I will just right click and disable it. Okay, I don't need Adobe Gamma. Uh, I will just disable all the applications that I don't, I don't want. So guys, make sure uh, do not uh, you know disable any Intel Corporation thing, okay? So Microsoft Corporation is fine. Uh, I will just go ahead and disable this because it's a OneDrive. I don't really need it. And Java update, I need it. All right, Skype, I don't want. I think that's enough, guys. So in, in your case, just take a look on the applications and decide which application that you guys don't want. So just go ahead and disable them. So guys, once the application is disabled that you guys really don't need it, uh, I'll just close the window. Okay, so the next tip is uh, to delete temporary files. So press window R again and type TEMP okay which is temporary just click on it and you guys will be able to see a lot of files and a lot of folders so guys all i want you to do is just control a uh, to select all of them and uh, just right click on it and delete them and i want you to press window and r key again and type percentage temp and percentage once more just click enter press enter in fact and i want you to remove all these files again just right click control a or control A and then right click delete them here we go moving forward to the next step and that is window R again and type P R E F E T C H prefetch I will give these commands in the description so don't worry about that uh, hit enter and you guys can see a lot of files here as well just control A and delete them moving forward to the next step press window R again type MS config and hit enter and click on services so guys here i want you to make sure that uh, click on hide all microsoft services because i don't want you guys to disable any services which are required by windows all right now you guys have to disable the services which you think that they're not really uh, required okay in my case i will go ahead with adobe genuine software i will just disable them and adobe update services i don't want them adobe Ac acrobat update services i don't want them uh, Google Chrome I don't want them so as soon as you stop the services press ok it will ask you to restart the computer I will not restart right now because um, we have to make some other changes as well and then we will restart once and for all so I will just hit exit without restart so moving ahead to the next step which is uh, de defragmentation hit start menu and type defragment so guys click on C drive and uh, I want you guys to optimize it okay so it, it might take a while but click on optimize once the optimization is done I want you guys to click on change settings I recommend that you defragment the drive once in a in a month okay so in order to get maximum performance out of out of your hard drive so just click on frequency and then select monthly 
and uh, here you can choose your drives which one you want uh, don't don't defragment all of them because it, it might take a lot of time just click on C drive and then click OK all right and then here we go OK again so this is how you will do the optimization press close so moving forward to the next tip which is relevant to power and um, you can press uh, menu again start menu just type power and here we go click on edit power plan and uh, click on change advanced power settings select high performance active and press ok if you guys are using laptops the battery will be draining fast okay but if you guys are using desktop uh, like in this case you know you guys will be perfectly fine if the option is balanced just make sure to change it to high performance if it's already high performance just let it be so the next step is disk cleanup press uh, start menu again type disc and you will be able to see disk cleanup click on disk cleanup and it's asking us which drive you want to clean so i will just uh, go ahead with c drive and press ok once the window is open i want you guys to make sure that you know if there are any temporary files left behind just click on temporary files select all these and click on ok so it will clean up all the uh, temporary files system files so click on these options and uh, press ok so in case if there are some temporary files which are left behind so you know make sure to delete all of them as well okay so i will just go ahead and press ok and it's asking me are you sure you want to permanently delete these files uh, yes i want to delete them just delete file so it's done guys uh, next step is i want you guys to go on start menu again and type s e n s e sense all right so just click on turn on story sense once the once you open it you guys will be able to see some options that i'm not really sure that you guys saw it before enable the story sense and click on configure story sense so what the first option does is that it will run story sense when you're running out of space okay and the second one is temporary files and click on delete temporary files that my apps are not using and i, I also want you guys to schedule it okay every 30 days just make sure to clean your temporary files i don't recommend this deleting your downloads you may need it later so basically i just want you guys to enable story sense and then configure the temporary files deletion all right so close the window so guys moving forward uh, the next the next step that i have is privacy settings we have to make some changes in privacy settings so click on windows menu again and type sorry privacy settings click on privacy settings take a look on these options guys if you guys think that these options should be enabled and just let it keep it enabled if you guys want to disable it just disable it but what i want to show you guys is uh, to click on location and if the location is enabled just make sure to disable the location in my case it's already disabled so i don't really have to make any changes in here so the next option that i want you guys to change is background apps okay there is an option called background applications so guys take a look on all these applications and you are the best judge which application should be running and which application should not be so in my case i will just disable a few of them because i don't need them and you, you guys can select accordingly so guys finally just go ahead and restart the computer and once the computer boots up again you will see that the, comp the performance of the computer is really up to the mark now it will give you a feeling that your windows has just been refreshed or you know you just installed the windows so it will be up to the mark and if you think that system is becoming slow again just repeat the same steps and you guys will be good to go so guys do let me know in the comment section below if these tips are helpful and it speeds up your computer and if you guys want me to make any specific video for you guys uh, do let me know in the comment section and i will be happy to make that video for you guys if you like what you see please do like share and subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos like these uh, my name is vakas khan signing off Bye bye